So I've been watching a lot of Coach Greg, Dr. Greg, Greg Doucette, whatever you want to call him. Super popular fitness channel right now. As someone that is really into fitness and I work as a dietitian, gotta say he gives good advice, especially for people that are trying to lose weight. He's always promoting his cookbook and his diet, and his diet really does make sense. He promotes eating a lot of low calorie and high protein foods, and these foods you can eat a lot of, so you're stuffed and you don't want to eat a lot of junk food like cakes and cookies which would have a ton of calories and you can eat a ton of that and eventually cause you to go into a calorie surplus and you would gain weight. So what he also recommends for his diet is eating a lot of protein and he does talk a little bit about the thermic effect of food and why protein can help with weight loss because your body takes more calories to digest protein compared to other foods and also that protein is more satiating it keeps you fuller so you're not eating so much so i actually did some research on the thermic effect of food for protein during school and i just wanted to elaborate on this a little bit to break it down first just to give you an idea of how much calories your body will use up for just digestion see that only five to fifteen percent is for digestion the majority of the calories your body uses just to stay alive so you know to keep your heart beating keep your organs running. So if you see for the thermic effect of food, it is some significant amount of your daily calories burned. So it might be helpful to kind of optimize it to where you burn more calories from the foods you eat. Let's go into the actual thermic effect of food. So when you eat protein, up to 30% of the calories from the protein that you eat actually just gets burnt off from the digestion process. And that's a lot higher than carbohydrates and fats, so 5 to 10% or 0 to 3%. Technically, if you ate a very high protein diet, you would burn a little bit more calories from that compared to eating a more balanced diet. And you see it in this example, pick the high protein diet where you're eating about 35% of your calories from protein. If you're eating a 2,000 calorie a day diet, that's about 175 grams of protein daily. If you're thinking that's not a lot, that's actually quite a lot of protein. For example, I'm about 145 pounds. If I was to eat 175 grams of protein every day, that is over one gram of protein per pound of body weight, which is what a lot of bodybuilders recommend you eat. You can eat more protein than 35%. It's just that you would have to eat a lot of lean protein or drink a shit ton of protein shakes, which doesn't sound that tasty to me. And then we have like a balanced diet. A balanced diet, you would burn about 174 calories. In a high protein diet, it's 225 calories. And you can see the difference between what the USDA recommends you eat and a high protein diet. It's not that much, man, 50 calories. That's like half a banana or like half a slice of bread. You know, just eat a little bit less and you know, you'd be about the same. 